Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. The question is asking a water pump that consumes 2 kilowatts of electric power when operating is claimed to take in water from the lake and pump it to a pool whose free surface is 30 meter above the free surface of the lake at a rate of 15 liter per second. Determine if this claim is reasonable. Hmm. Let's see. Let's find it out. So first of all, they have they are saying that a water pump consumes two kilowatts of electric power. So kilowatts basically mean kilojoule per second. So it's rate of uh, rate of energy that that's what we call kilo, kilowatts, right? It's kilojoule per second. It's another unit to say that, right? So we know that uh, two kilojoule per second is this amount, and they have said that. Of electric power when operating so if this claim is reasonable so let's find it out so first of all we have to know that uh, density of water here we are dealing with water so the density of water is water is equal to thousand kilogram per meter cube and also they have given the volume flow rate so let's consider everything happens in one second right we have to know that uh, whatever the value we are finding that matches this value that's what we are trying to find so first of all we are we are calculating so we have this volume flow rate so in one second 50 liter is going to flow right so 50 liter is going to be the volume volume is 50 liter and if i convert this one into meter cube this is going to be 0 0.05 meter cube so this is our volume in terms of meter cube and then we have this height right here but before I go for that uh, I can calculate the mass using this one because if you see this is density times this volume is going to give us the mass so we can calculate the mass 1000 kilogram per meter cube times 0 0.05 meter cube that will give us the mass and meter cube meter cube, can, meter cube cancels and you will get 50 kilogram as the mass so we have the mass volume and what is height height is equal to 30 meter so what, what's going to happen is the energy required is going to be the potential energy so the energy required energy required to pump this one is going to be the potential energy so mgh so we have all the values right here m is right here g is going to be 9.81 we can take 9.8 so 50 times 9.8 times 30 meter height and if you calculate this one you will get 14,700 joule right 14,700 joule and this is uh, in joule we are dealing with kilojoule and this is kilojoule per second so let's try to convert this one into kilo, kilojoule per second so all I have to do is simply divide this by 1000 that's going to give us 14.7 kilojoule and he, we are considering one second. In one second, how much energy required? So it's going to be 14.7 kilojoule per second. So we need 14.7 kilojoule per second to to transfer this water, right? Take in water from lake and pump it to a pool. We need 14.7 kilojoule per second but the water pump only consumes 2 kilowatts even 2 kilojoule per second so therefore we don't have enough energy to do this process therefore we can say the climb, climb is unreasonable therefore the climb is therefore this, uh, this climb is unreasonable and that is the final answer for this question I hope you guys like this video.
see you next time